Hi everyone. Today we are doing the experiment about energy in thermal system. The objective is first to gain thermal equilibrium. Second to determine final temperature. Inference for this experiment: thermal equilibrium is achieved when two substances reach the same temperature and exchange to heat energy. Hypothesis. The final temperature obtained from experiment will be the state in which the temperature of two substances reach the equal temperature at a certain time. Before we start our experiment, please set up your apparatus. One electric kettle, two beakers size of 500 ml, one electronic balance, one thermometer, one glass rod and one hot hand protector for safety procedure to do this experiment is first record the mass of an empty beaker as m1 while your member boil the tap water by using electric kettle Second, fill 100 ml tap water into the beaker. For accurate measurement of water level, position of the eye must be at the level of the center of the meniscus of the water in the beaker. Measure mass of the beaker with tap water and record as M2. Record the temperature of tap water as T1. Precautions to be taken when using thermometer. When reading the scale, position of the eye must be at the level of the center of the meniscus of the mercury in the capillary tube. Immerse the thermometer bulb fully in the liquid without touching the base of the beaker. Fill another empty beaker with 100 ml hot water. Record the temperature of hot water as T2. Pour 100 ml hot water into the beaker containing 100 ml tap water gently. Be careful, please wear your hot hand protector to hold the beaker of hot water for safety. Stir the mixture slowly about 10 seconds. Record the final temperature as T final. And the last, measure the mass of the beaker containing water mixture and record as M3. Don't forget to record your data in table 3A, 3B and complete the calculation in table 3C using formula that given. Hello, I'm back. Let's continue the conclusion for experiment energy in thermal system. Do you remember the objective of this experiment? Oh, oh. Okay, I recall it for you. First is to gain thermal equilibrium. Second, to determine final temperature. Thus, the final temperature in this experiment is equal with the final temperature in calculation on table 3C. 
is both of the final temperature are not the same can you explain why please relate the thermal equilibrium principle and complete your lab sheet report that's all okay bye